Hello students, welcome back to our channel JBR Online Classes. Last day I changed my channel's name from Math Ways to JBR Online Classes. So now whenever you open uh, YouTube, then please search JBR Online Classes and you will find all of our videos. Please subscribe our channel. Hello students, welcome back to our channel JBR Online Classes. So here now I'm going to start exercise 4. It's a part 2 video. Uh, okay, uh, so for part 1, please check our description box. Now in the previous video, I have solved up to sum number 16. Now in this video, I am going to start from sum number 18. In sum number 18, 3x uh, by 5 minus 2x minus 1 by 3 greater than 1. That is the given in equation. You have to solve it, then represent it by the number line. So by LCM, you will get 9x minus 10x plus 5 by 15 greater than 1. And from that, you will get minus x greater than 10. So if minus x greater than 10, then multiply minus with both sides and you will get x less than minus 10. So here the solution set is x less than minus 10 where x such that x belongs to r. And by number line here minus 10, uh, less than minus 10. So that's why minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13 as go on. Now sum number 20. In sum number 20, the given in equation is minus 2, 2 by 3 less than equal to x plus 1 by 3 less than 3 plus 1 by 3 where x belongs to r. So minus 8 by 3 less than x plus 1 by 3 less than 3 plus 1 by 3. Now in the middle portion here my plus 1 by 3. So we have to vanish this uh, plus 1 by 3. So to vanish this plus 1 by 3 you have to subtract minus 1 by 3. So must subtract minus 1 by 3 from uh, both sides. So here minus 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Here x plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 less than 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3. So from that minus 9 by 3 less than equal to x less than 3 then multiply 3 both sides it will be get this one and then divide 3 and finally we will get minus 3 less than equal to x less than 3 so here the solution set is x such that x belongs to r where minus 3 less than equal to x less than 3 now the next one sum number 23 in sum number 23 the given equation is minus 2 plus 10x less than equal to 13x plus 10 less than 24 plus 10x where x belongs to z so for this kind of inequation, you have to separate this inequation into two parts. Okay. Uh, so for first part here, minus 2 plus 10x less than equal to 13x plus 10. That means first two uh, portion. And then last two portion, you have to construct the second part. From the first part, you will get minus x less than equal to 4. So x greater than equal to minus 4. Okay. And the second part, you will get x less than equal to 14 by 3. So x less than 4 whole 2 by 3. Now as x uh, less than 4 whole 2 by 3 and here x greater than equal to minus 4. So you can also write minus 4 less than equal to x. Now uh, you have to combine these two in equation. You have to combine these two in equation and finally we will get minus 4 less than equal to x less than 4 whole 2 by 3. Now sum number 26. In sum number 26 p is the solution set of minus 3x plus 4 less than 2x minus 3 where x belongs to n and q is the solution set of 4x minus 5 less than 12 x belongs to w and then found p p intersection q and q intersection p now sum number 26 p is the solution set of minus 3x plus 4 minus less than 2x minus 3 x belongs to n and q is the solution set of 4x minus 5 less than 12 x belongs to w now find uh, p intersection q or um, next I uh, have to q minus p so for the first one uh, minus 3x plus 4 less than 2x minus 3 so from that you will get minus 5x less than minus 7 so x greater than 7 by 5 now if x greater than 7 by 5 then the solution set p equal to 2 3 4 5 and go on now the next part uh, 4x minus 5 less than 12 so 4x less than 17 so x less than 17 by 4 so the for solution set of q that equal to 4 3 2 1 0 okay now uh, from the first part p intersection q that means the common portion between p and q so here the common portion 2 and 2 then 3 3 then 4 4 so 2 3 4 are the common between p and q set so p intersection q equal to 2 3 4 next one q minus p that means you have to subtract q sorry subtract p from q so if we subtract uh, p from q then it will be the remaining portion is 1 and 0 because uh, 4 2 3 are the common portion so the remaining portion is 1 and 0 now sum number 29 x belongs to i 
find the smallest value of x which satisfies the inequation 2x plus 5 by 2 greater than 5x by 3 plus 2. So by LCM 4x plus 5 by 2 greater than 5x plus 6 by 3 by cross multiplication you will get 12x plus 15 greater than 10x plus 12. So from that x greater than minus 3 by 2. So if x greater than minus 3 by 2 then the smallest value of x will be minus 1. Okay as x greater than 3 by 2 3 by 2 means 1.5 so the smallest value will be minus 1 now sum number 31 in sum number 31 4x minus 19 less than 3x by 5 minus 2 less than equal to minus 2 by 5 plus x where x belongs to r now i told you uh, in the previous time that uh, if this kind of uh, inequation problem you have to uh, separate uh, this equation into two portion so here the first portion and here the second portion from the first portion you will get x less than 5 and from the second portion you will get minus x less than equal to 4 so if minus x less than equal to 4 then if we multiply x sorry multiply minus with both side then x greater than equal to 4 so if x greater than equal to minus 4 then we can also write minus 4 less than equal to x so the solution set will be minus 4 less than equal to x less than 5 so now in the at the last we have to combine this uh, equation okay you have to combine these two equation so you will get minus 4 less than equal to x less than 5 now sum number 34 that is the last one in this uh, exercise uh, so please subscribe my channel and for the previous uh, video you can check in the description box and for further video please press the bell icon so you will get notified whenever we upload the new video okay so please subscribe now sum number 34 in sum number 34 find the greatest integer which is such that if 7 is added to its double okay uh, find the greatest integer which is such that if 7 is added to its double so if the greatest integer be x okay then 7 is added to it double so the double of this number that equal to 2x so now we have to add 7 so here 2x plus 7 now the next part uh, the resulting number becomes greater than 3 times of the integer so that is the integer and the 3 times of the integer that means 3x and it will be greater than so right here greater than 3x okay now in this way you have to construct this inequation first you have to read the question again and again then you have to understand which uh, they are said in this question and then according to question you have to construct the inequation so here 2x plus 7 greater than 3x the next one 2x minus 3x greater than minus 7 so minus x greater than minus 7 and from that x less than 7 so if x less than 7 then the value of x equal to 6 okay as here says that the find the greatest integer so x less than 7 so the value will be x less than 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 but from that the greater number is 6 so that's why the value of x equal to 6